Hello everyone and welcome to another one verse one here on Lost Temple. Uh, this is going to be a TVZ uh, once again here on Lost Temple. Uh, we've got the green zerg here spawning in the three o'clock position. Uh, Variola. Variola? Yeah, okay. And he's going to be facing the Terran, uh, Mildo, purple, in the six o'clock position. So TVZ is an interesting play. Uh, we see a lot of openings with uh, roaches or uh, reaper harass. Uh, so we're going to see what's going on here. Uh, fairly standard openings, like I said. Um, I was trying to cast, cast this, li this game live, but um, something did crash in my system, so I had to leave the game, And although the replay was sent to me after. So yes, i got to cast this game for you. If you do like the live games, uh, let me know. I can try to cast those a little bit more often. Uh, there will be various gameplays, not ladder, of course, because you can't view a ladder game. It's too bad. Anyways, we're going to see, uh, s looks like, yes, 13. Uh, three more drones coming out after the Overlord at 10. The Overlord, uh, his first Overlord did scout to the 12 o'clock position, but unfortunately that is going to be the wrong way. And it looks like Mildo's SCV is going to the 9 o'clock position, so... Uh, Mildo uh, scouting in the clockwise position, which is incorrect, and Variola uh, scouting in the counterclockwise position, and the wrong way as well. Spawning pool here up fif at 15, and extractor up at 14. Uh, continuing to build drones, we are seeing two barracks come up for Mildo. I have seen this opening from him before. Um, it allows him to get two barracks out quickly and also block off his wall without having to get that second supply depot uh, at the beginning. Mildo's scout here going to continue in the uh, clockwise direction and not find his opponent. So yes, we got one gas, uh, three guys on gas already, so it looks like he may be going for a fast speedling or a fast lair tech, or maybe he's just going to transition into roaches. We'll see what happens. Is he going to get his queen? He doesn't have enough minerals for his queen, and it looks like he's getting a couple more drones. He did leave enough room in his supply to get that queen, so in 25 minerals, no, not at all. We are seeing uh, zerglings come out instead, and more zerglings. So yes, looks like we're going to see an early attack, maybe. Uh, we are seeing the hatchery come down. Uh, at Variola's natural expansion. It's almost halfway done. We've got our first couple marines out as well. No add-on for those yet. We don't even have gas coming from Mildo yet. The orbital command does finish and the first mule is popped down. Uh, we do see metabolic boost being researched so I think Variola is going for uh, maybe some fast zergling harassment if he can get past the Terran wall off. And that's very unlikely, actually. Maybe he's just going to use that to be able to defend his bases a little more, uh, a little more easily. But uh, we'll see how the game unfolds. I want to take this time to let you guys know that I uh, am going to be doing a contest. Uh, well, not really a contest, contest, but just I guess uh, a word of mouth uh, promotion. If I get 25 viewers, I would, or sorry, 25 subscribers, I would be very happy. Uh, I'm not quite at that number yet but uh, hopefully can get there quick. We do see a queen coming out for Variola at the moment. Anyways, if I can get 50 subscribers in the next couple weeks, uh, I will be giving out a beta key. I received my friend invites in the mail, or sorry, in the uh, email. And if I can get 100 subscribers, I will be giving out a second beta key. So yes, one beta key per 50 subscribers. Uh, so if you got friends, uh, family, let them know that... Uh, well, I shouldn't say family, but friends that like to watch the game, uh, feel free to spread the word of mouth of my casts. And once I get 50, I will make a draw for the first 50 people. Uh, for one beta key, I'll just assign a random number generator to uh, every person, or a number to every person, and use a random number generator and get you guys uh, see who gets the key. Also, and then when I get the second 50 subscribers, um, I will do another draw for uh, the f all 100 subscribers will get put in, and then another draw will for another key. So yeah, if you guys uh, still haven't got in the beta, this is a good chance to. Anyways, we are seeing Lair Tech coming up. Uh, the Queen looks like he's going to go Poop a Creep Tumor to spread that creep to allow his troops to get back and forth between the bases easier. Variola getting a couple Spine Crawlers here. 
And the Terran army looks like he is branching off uh, with his add-ons. He's going to get a tech lab on one barracks and tech lab on the second barracks. And it looks like he's going to get a tech lab on the third barracks. Unfortunately, though, I'm not sure if he you know, planned it this way or not, but it does leave a gap in between his buildings. So Zerglings can get through there. Although he is putting up two bunkers and filling it with Marines. So it looks like these guys are fortifying up, uh, teching up, and it looks like they're planning for a very, fairly macro heavy game. We are seeing a Baneling Nest and Concussive Shells being upgraded for uh, both teams respectively. Queen continuing to spawn that larva, has some extra energy at the moment. Uh, could probably utilize that with another Creep Tumor somewhere along the way. Overlord's continuing to poop Creep now. Uh, the Creep Tumor could probably spawn now, but it uh, looks like he's not going to quite yet. We see spawn larva almost finishing, and it looks like he'll have enough energy for another one, of course. Third, spine crawler up, and a hydralisk den as well. So we're going to see hydras and banelings more than likely. Although, Mildo, or sorry, uh, yeah, Mildo does see this scan, or sorry, does see his uh, main opponent's main base, and he is going to see the baneling nest, but he's not going to see the hydralisk den as he has ha uh, hidden it in the natural expansion. Uh, Tech-wise for the Terran player, we are seeing a factory come up and another barracks. Uh, we've got shield being researched uh, also for the Terran combat shield. It's going to give the Marines an extra 10 HP on top of their 45. So it allows them to take a few extra hits from the Zerglings and Hydralisks. Uh, we're seeing a second factory come down, the first one getting a tech lab. It looks like he's made, up eno er, made enough room here to build a second tech lab or maybe a reactor uh, we'll see creep spreading nicely uh, this is going to allow him to actually capture the gold ex or gold uh, high yield expansion if he chooses so uh, Terran does do another <laughs> scan peekaboo variola says he does see the hydralisks this time uh, I don't believe he's seen the den but uh, no he doesn't see the hydralisk den but he knows that he is getting hydras uh, mutilated that Okay, I don't know. Variola spawning uh, creep down here as well so that the Terran can't fly in a expansion. Orbital Command is up on his second uh, command center and getting both refineries up here. So it looks like he may be going for a tech-heavy build, or sorry, a gas-heavy build. He is supply-locked at the moment, so that's not going to be a good thing. And I was wrong. He didn't have enough room to put that factory with a tech lab on but uh, he will have enough room to get his units by uh, this little choke point. And he is researching Infernal Pre-Igniter instead of Siege Tech. So it looks like we're not going to see tanks, but we are going to see Hellions. Hellions, of course, as you know, do extra damage to light units. So Hydralisks, Zerglings, Banelings, um, unfortunately not Roaches. Roaches are armored. Uh, they do 8 damage plus 6. And the Infernal Pre-Igniter gives them, I believe, an extra 14 damage against light units. So that is quite a bit. Variola looking to expand up here at the 12 o'clock position. That would be his third expansion and would give him one up on the Terran. Uh, Zerg uh, do definitely uh, work better off uh, when, they're, when they have one base more or more, than, more bases than their opponent. That's what I was trying to say. Sorry, guys. Uh, getting another supply depot down here, and it looks like the Terran, w or sorry, Zerg was going to engage, but he decided to pull back and maybe wait for that creep tumor to spawn another one. Uh, these creep tumors obviously are cloaked, so no one can see them unless you have a um, a detector. Unfortunately, uh, when they first start morphing in, though, as you can see, I'll try to catch the next one. They are visible to any unit until they finish spawning. 12 o'clock expansion is up and running now. We see a Nidus network coming in. Ooh, this could be interesting. And yes, as you can see, they can't take this out because they don't see it, even though they're right in front of it. Terran army looking to push out and maybe develop some map control, as he probably does realize that the Zerg, so far, uh, this game has been able to expand to his heart's desire. Uh, looking to see, or to get a couple more spine crawlers in. And I'm not sure where this Nidus network is going to be. Judging by the fact that this Overlord is going around the base, it's probably going to be right there. Um, Terran army pulling back and killing... Oh, that sucks. Siege tanks were unable to get out, so he actually had to 
kill off his own tech lab after lifting his factory off. Uh, yes, so an extra actually plus... Uh, it's plus 6 originally, so I guess an extra plus 10 to light. 